Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am reviewing the new MAC Studio Water Weight Foundation with SPF 30. This is MAC's latest foundation that they just released, and I didn't plan on doing a review for this because I don't generally do a lot of single product reviews on my channel, but I had so many of you guys comment uh, a couple videos back I listed in my video description that this was the foundation I was wearing and so many people just from where I listed the foundation were like can you please review Mac's new foundation uh, so that's what I'm going to do for you guys today since I did have so many requests on it and I do have uh, a pretty solid opinion on it so if you guys are interested in learning more about this foundation just keep on watching we're going to go straight into the demo and then I'll talk about it a little bit more after that shade is that I am currently wearing in the Studio Water Weight Foundation. I am wearing NC25. That is what I have on right now. It is an absolute perfect match for me. Now, if you're used to seeing me where I'm self-tanned and you think you're closer to that skin tone, I would probably wear an NC35 uh, whenever I wear like my Loving Tan or my uh, Vita Liberata Tan. I'm going to try to hit the high points and I think what a lot of people will want to know is if this foundation lasts throughout the day, um, how the longevity is, that type of thing. I wore this the entire time we were in New Orleans and it was probably in, it was at least like I would say 89 degrees every single day. And I didn't have any problem with this coming off on my skin. I thought it wore really nicely throughout the day. It didn't cake on the skin. Uh, it was very just ultra lightweight feeling uh, but I did not have any problems with this coming off. I have worn this on uh, while I've been in Tennessee as well and just no problems. I mean there's not been a day that I've came home and I've been like oh that didn't really wear well throughout the day. I've watched a few different reviews on this foundation and it seems like a few people have talked differently about the finish on this foundation. Now in my personal opinion this is a bumped up version of MAC's Face and Body, which is one of my all-time favorite foundations by MAC. This is a very sheer to light medium coverage foundation with a dewy finish. When I applied the uh, Studio Water Weight Foundation, the first thing I said was, this is almost identical to Face and Body as far as how it feels and how it applies. It just has quite a bit more coverage to it. You can definitely get a light coverage with this product or you can bump it up to a solid medium coverage. I wouldn't say that this goes past a medium a medium coverage. It's definitely more of a natural finish and if you wanted to do a fuller coverage look with this foundation you would definitely just have to bump up your concealer. So like I was saying several different people I've seen on YouTube have said that this is a satin finish foundation. Some people have said it's a dewy finish foundation and I guess it might just be working differently for everyone. In my personal opinion, this has a very natural finish to it. I It has never looked matte or satin on me. It's not as dewy as MAC Face and Body. That is a very dewy foundation. This one is definitely more skin-like, more natural. I would say maybe semi-dewy to natural. It does have a little bit of a sheen if you don't set it. I wore this yesterday all evening without setting it and it looked fine on my skin. 
So I don't really know what the mixed reviews are as far as the finish goes, but in my personal opinion, it's just a good natural finish. Right now I have some MAC uh, Studio Finish, Studio Fix powder uh, on the center of my face, but nowhere else. And I do have some highlighting products on as well, but it just has a really pretty skin-like appearance. As far as application goes, I like to use a really good buffing brush. This one is by IT Cosmetics. I use this one or my IT Cosmetics uh, Complexion Perfecting Brush. This one doesn't have a name, but it's really similar to that. I got this last Christmas. That's probably why it doesn't have a name on it. But really, I just like to use any type of buffing brush to get this gel formula really buffed into my skin and to look like my skin as much as possible. Overall, the only complaint I have about the Studio Water Weight Foundation is that I don't necessarily love the packaging. It's not ideal for travel or really everyday use. This dropper bottle is a little annoying. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I don't like to unscrew the cap. Then you have to squeeze your bottle to get the product out. And I don't really get a lot of product when I squeeze the uh, dropper tube. For some reason, I just never really get a lot of product out. Um, so I'm, I'm having to go back in and dip the dropper in. I would have much preferred the style of the face and body packaging. I love the packaging on this. Like this could possibly be my most favorite packaging on any type of foundation. Very travel friendly. Um, you just squeeze it, it's out. You don't have to do anything else. So yeah, the only downside or only negative of this foundation really for me is the packaging. It's also in a glass bottle, so it may be susceptible to breaking if you're not careful with it and you just dropped something like I did. Anyways, this does have a beautiful finish to it, in my opinion, very skin-like. It doesn't adhere to dry patches or imperfections, and I think it's going to be a great foundation for all skin types, even if you are oily. Just set it with a little bit of powder, and I don't think you'll have a problem with it making you look greasy. Like I said, it's, it's really not a dewy foundation. It has a bit of a sheen to it, and that is it. Overall, I am a huge fan of this foundation right now. It has been awesome, especially since my skin has been so dry. I do think it is just a bumped up version of MAC Face and Body. I know they're saying this is a completely different technology with the gel serum formula, but to be completely honest, it literally feels like face and body when you put it on. The finish of it just isn't as dewy. Um, so overall, I'm a fan of it. Uh, I think you guys should try it if you have a MAC or MAC counter near you. Ask for a sample of this. See how you like it. Probably not going to be for those of you who really just prefer that full coverage matte finish. That's the only type of person I could think of that wouldn't like this foundation. If you're just like an Estee Lauder double wear person. Um, I'm trying to think of another like matte foundation. I'm like terrible at naming matte foundations because I seriously don't own any. Um, the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation is really matte. I remember trying that one. So if you're that type of person, probably want to enjoy this. Everyone else I think should give it a try. I'm a fan of it. And if you guys have any questions about it or if I did not touch on something, feel free to leave it down below. Um, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!